If you don't know what a furry is, it's basically a guy that that uh, loves like uh, the the animal characters that, that are half human, half half animal, like like Goofy and shit. And they're also uh, no, known to uh, fuck each other in those outfits. All the stuff. <laughs> that he has. What the fuck is this? Yes, I love it. My bet is safe. Oh, this means something to you, John? Oh yeah. <laughs> means you got a furry, bro. Fuck's a furry. Someone who wants to fuck you like you're a stuffed animal. All the stuffed animals. Like any fan group, they have conventions. The biggest one in the world is here in Pittsburgh. It's called Anthrocon. There are 6,000 furries inside. In many ways, this convention is like any other. Vendors come from far and wide. And we have our array of ears. There are celebrity sightings. And people who speak your language. Oh, I am Shinami. I am the Water Dragon. Anthrocon, like any convention, has hundreds of sessions and panels to attend. There's video gaming, puppetry, and a dance hall. There's something different about the furries. Something we notice again and again. Can you talk to us? You can't talk to us. You don't talk in costume. These folks are committed to their characters. Their personas. Someone might do it. But really committed. Would you like a hug, sir? The hug is the furry handshake. And they never say no to a picture. Give me, can I get another pose? Yeah. Some furries are from movies or TV. And Robbie is your, your real name or your. No, that, okay. that's the character. This is Robbie Sinclair from Dinosaurs. You were a big Star Wars fan, yeah. I'm assuming? And then you decided to go all in? Sure. Yeah. But most furries are made up. Most of the paw padding, tail trailing, fur suited folks we meet are dressed up as alternate versions of themselves. The character they want to be if they were an animal. All the stuffed animals. This is Robert, also known as Hip Hop the Husky. The owls are not what they seem.
why did you bring this to me? It also represents an insect, and an insect also represents a demonic entity, a demonic entity, a demonic entity, a demonic entity. John Cole even has multiple personas. This is his favorite. His name is KP. Which stands uh, for? It stands for Cuddle Pup. Right. And he is the all-American kid. He's a puppy. He thinks about the world as a child does. It's a little more innocent. 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 But the furry's reputations aren't always so pure. The adult thing has always been really popular in the fandom. Jeff Eddy publishes furry literature of all types. Some will call it a fetish, but it's really a different way of kind of looking at these same sort of romantic themes. So it's just animal characters replacing right. yep. human characters yeah. in the same kind of adult novels. Israel has opened the gateway to hell. We will open the gate of hell. I'll follow him to the gates of hell. I will open up the gates of hell. Exactly. And I will unleash a fury. And I will unleash a fury. And I will unleash a fury. And I will unleash a fury that no mortal man has ever seen. I kind of made up the name because it's not a specific species, it's actually a hybrid. It's not a specific species, it's actually a hybrid. It's not a specific species, it's actually a hybrid. And so it's a deer goat dog hybrid, so I call it a drought. You call it a drought? <laughs> a drought. The owls are not what they seem. So it's not for me. Can I get a hug? But for these folks, young or old, orange or blue, fur-suited or not, it seems to suit them just fine. She pretends all is well when she's hiding her head of demons inside. Inside you is the spirit. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of law. The law of love. Let's open up this pit! What is a furry? Well, furries are fans of anthropomorphic characters. Those are animals with human characteristics. And like any fan group, they have conventions. The biggest one in the world is here in Pittsburgh. The biggest one in the world is here in Pittsburgh. The biggest one in the world is here in Pittsburgh. Here in Pittsburgh. Here in Pittsburgh.
It's a little more innocent. It's a little more innocent. It's a little more innocent. But it's really a different way of kind of looking at the same sort of romantic themes. So it's just animal characters replacing right. yep. human characters. It's a little more innocent.